Hey guys, it's Jeff here at Karaoke. Unfortunately, we don't have time to do a real video on this project today, but I thought I'd at least grab a little short of it. This is a hard bar or equalizer bar out of a Caterpillar D8R bulldozer. This ties the front end of the track frames together so they can oscillate. Um, center is okay, it just needs a bushings change. The ends of this, I should have got a picture earlier, but they were completely pounded through the bushings. Um, the center bore was actually almost out to the major diameter for the seals. So it started off, ground out all the shit, getting there with a, a zip disc on a die grinder so you can chase all the bits of snap ring out of the grooves, because those will leave hard spots in the weld if you don't. And then built it all up with um, 045 dual shield wire. It's, it's a, makes a nice sound deposit. It's a bit higher strength than you get out of a solid wire. It's a lot more sim similar to uh, 7018 uh, stick electrodes, but it lays in really nice and fast, so you can save a lot of time in your build up with that. Anyways, we got it set up on the mill. Larger one, or um, if only one end needed to be done, I would do this on our larger mill, the Cincinnati, primarily because it's just a lot nicer to do boring work on. It's a bit more rigid and it's got the sliding head instead of a quill so you can take a lot heavier cuts as well as it has power feed in both directions. Um, but on this one with two, you end up having to flip the thing around four times to do both ends on the Cincinnati. On this one with the ram and turret, I can swing the head around, bore one side, swing the head around, bore the other side, and then cut some reference surfaces so we can flip it over, pick everything back up, and then cut the um, seal pockets from the bottom. Anyways, that's uh, kind of a little rundown on these, and uh, Happy New Year to everyone.